Hey guys, it's Nerf Boy Productions here, and today I'm here with a new unboxing and review of the new Nerf and Strike Elite Strife. So this is the latest um, gun in Nerf's and Strike Elite line, and let's go ahead and unbox it. So I am uh, doing this new camera angle that I think will be a bit better for my unboxings. So if you're wondering where this came from, it came from Amazon. Um, there's a link in the description below to where I bought it. If you go to the link and there's none left in stock, don't blame me. Maybe everyone in this video will buy one and then there won't be any left. Alright, so. Here it is. Very nice. Alright, so I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see it better. There's some uh, air packaging and a slip from Amazon. All right, and then we have the Strife. So the box here almost exactly fits the box here. Now, the box of the Strife is very, very thin. Very thin. Um, I'll grab my box of the Stockade. Here's a comparison. This is the Stockade box, and this is the Strife box. If we look at that, um, look at that. So, the Strife is a very thin, nice looking box. So, here is what it looks like on the front. Looks very cool, we have that Strife. Got the gun. Again, we, get, we have that shoot 75 feet. And that's the back. And yeah, so now let's unbox this thing. This unboxing is pretty cool because there's two boxes being unboxed. The Amazon box and this box. Alright, so. We're going to slip this out. Oh, we got this cardboard thing coming off. And the whole gun falls right out of the box. Starts, manual. And that's it for the entire box. Interesting. All right, so we have six of the Instrike Elite darts, and then the Strife wrapped up in nice plastic and cardboard. So if we pull that off, we now have this cardboard sleeve. If we pull that off, bang, we've got the Strife. Wow, wow. Very, very cool. Awesome, we get the six star clip with it, the strife, and the six elite darts as well as this manual. Um, manual just talks about the compart battery compartment, tactical rail, jam clearing door, six star clip, click, clip, release button, acceleration trigger, and launch trigger. So, that's it. Um, now, onto the review. Alright, now for the review segment of the Nerf Elite Strife. So, I've been getting, um, a chance to toy around with the gun a bit, and it's very, very cool. I must say, the Strife is, I gotta say, a must. It's really, really nice. Here's one of the reasons. It's a slim down Raven. Basically, it's a clip-fed barricade. So, very, very cool. Barricade's amazing, and it's clip-fed. Listen to how quiet this is. Now, that may sound loud to you, but I'm talking at a normal volume. I haven't edited this volume at all. This is my normal volume, and the gun is actually quieter than me, so that's saying something. Now, if we compare this to even the stockade's volume... Which I have one right here. It's still pretty quiet because it's the elite stockade, but the strife is even quieter. Listen to this. Here's the strife. Here's the stockade. So they're pretty close, but it's still really quiet, which I love. All right, so it's got two tactical rails, one on the top at the back and one on the uh, near the front at the bottom. Um, it's got the acceleration trigger, which is right here. 
When you pull that, it revs. And the firing trigger, which will not pull unless this is revving, it will then pull. And then this little button in front is the clip release, so the clip won't come out. But if we push that, clip comes out. Now, I'm going to show you, you barely need to push this button at all for the clip to come out. In fact, it barely even does push for the clip to come out. Push it the tiniest bit, and the clip comes out. But leave it in, and the clip isn't going anywhere. So it's really easy, holding the gun like this, to just hit that and take out the clip. I love that design. Now, it looks kind of awkward, um, but it doesn't feel that awkward at all. You'd feel like you need to push it really hard with that finger, but you barely need to tap it for the clip to come out, which is awesome, one of the best features. It's so easy to take the clip out. Um, another great thing about the um, Strife that is that uh, now we all know that the barricades have stock attachments. Are very cool. The stockade actually comes with a stock. Looks very cool on it. But check this out. This front muzzle piece, you can put barrels on it. Look at that. We add on maybe a stock from like the stockade stock with the um, long strike barrel and say a long shot scope on the top there. And look at that. You got yourself a prime beast weapon. We just took a tiny pistol and completely changed it. I mean, look at that. Now it's a sniper rifle. Very, very cool. So because it's got that barrel, um, because it can take barrel extensions and stocks, as well as, um, the two, uh, tactical rails, that allows you to completely customize it. Or just have it as a, as maybe like a dual wielding thing, or just maybe a secondary, very nice secondary. The handle, let's talk about the handle. I, awesome, I think this handle's awesome. My hands are pretty big, but on this gun, look at that. Got some space there. Um, from the other side, look at that, look at that. Got lots of space. That's awesome. Um, so for adult nerfers that may have their hands down here, you're still keeping your hands on there. That's very nice. Um, it's got a it's got a loop for bandoliers here and here. Um, jam door is fairly cool. If I can get it open, look at that. Access the darts very well. Um, the gun will not rev when the access door is open. And yeah, one more thing I need to mention, the gun takes four AA batteries, which go right here in this very cool looking battery tray. Um, the sides aren't symmetrical, which I actually think is pretty cool. When you shoot, when you're holding the gun, if you're right-handed, you just see a flat profile, which is very nice. I think that's really cool. You see pr flat profile. Um, actually gives you better accuracy instead of having all the stuff that can ruin your shot. But then on the other side, look at that. We have this cool, it's hard to show you in person, but it goes in and out, goes in there, which looks really nice. Just pops in and out everywhere, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, one thing to note, look at, it's not, um, it's not exactly aligned. Looks kind of weird, but you know what? Um, that being said, I look for those kinds of things. Um, I think that buying the Strife, you should definitely buy the Strife. Just because it's a little more bulgy out on one side, doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. The, it's, it's the only possible way to actually get those flywheels to fit in, that they need that extra little bump. Um, so don't get mad at them, it's just the wiring and stuff, you need to do it. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's basically as slim as you can get. I mean, look at, look at the barricade, right? Or the stockade, alright? Look. Look at that. Look at that. It is thin all around everywhere. Boom. Look, look, look from the bottom. Look from the bottom. That is chunky. That is slick. I love it. And the fact that you can put in um, barrels or drums rather, sorry. Very, very neat. Anyway, that's a bit. That's enough about talking about the strife. Now, of course, let's fire some rounds. Alright, so before I do the segment, I forgot to say that the gun comes with a Elite clip, which is half solid, half clear, 
very nice and of course the six stripes which I already mentioned anyway on to the video all right so I got the stripe fully loaded up here and these six darts and this clip are the clip and darts that came with the gun and they haven't been shot when I was playing around with the gun I have I was using a different a different elite clip and different elite darts that have been shot before this is completely stock all right so we're gonna be shooting at that tin disc as always and Merry Christmas All right, you saw I only did five shots. This shot, this dart, um, I pulled the trigger and I just didn't pull the trigger hard enough and it didn't exactly go out the gun properly. I don't really know how to say that. Let me try shooting it again. Yeah, perfect, hit the disc. Um, very cool. Um, just when you don't push the trigger hard enough, it can get caught. That might've just been the dart, who knows? Of course, you are expected to have more um, uh, defects in a gun that isn't even mass produced yet. So anyway, um, overall, a rating for this gun. Now I'm not done the video, don't you worry, but a rating for this gun. This gun I think is better than the stockade. If you're gonna get the stockade, hold off. You don't need every Nerf gun, I do, because I review them and then sell them. But if you're gonna go for a gun, save it, wait for it, Maybe even ask it for Christmas. Remember, there's a description, and there's a link in the description below to go and buy this Strife if you want it. It's a 9.5. It's ridiculous. The only reason it's not a 9.5 is this. If you don't like that, if you're right-handed, look at that profile. Look at that. That's amazing. The fact that it has barrel extensions and stocks added is awesome. If you're left-handed, look at that. Still looks awesome. So... You know what? It, it's a 9.5. It's ridiculous. Um, really, really quiet. Really awesome. This is the only way to have a 10 star gun is if it gets actual 75 ranges, everything perfect. You know, it's 9.5. It's like the best yet. It's amazing. By far my favorite Elite Blaster. That may be funny to say. It's better than the Hailfire. It's better than the Stockade. Better than the Rampage. Better than Retaliator. Um, I think the rough cut's gonna be awesome. Anyway, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, the Strife. Now, what I want to do is that combo I showed you before with the Long Strike Barrel, the Stockade Stock, and the Scope. I want to try out, so I'm gonna shoot that now. All right, this is very cool what I've done here. Um, of course, the Stockade Stock, the Long Shot Scope, Long strike, barrel attachment with the flip up sight. Don't really need that if I have the scope. Um, hope so. And an Alpha Trooper drum, 18 dart drum. Of course, we all know they can take 20 darts. So it's filled with 20 elite darts um, in a drum. So let's see how the drum functions with this gun. It should function normally. The exact same as normal. And of course, aiming for the tin disc, rapid fire. So that was very cool. You saw those shots. Those shot very nice. Let's keep shooting. All right, so we're out of darts now. And yeah, um, cool. I love this gun a lot. I think you guys will love it too. Definitely worth the money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions. Signing out.